All right, so right now we're gonna be talking about the metric system. So the metric system, as you're gonna see, is just is pretty much used everywhere around the world except for the US and two other countries. So pretty much as everyone got everyone has gotten on board with it, except for again a few countries. And so here's just like a quick uh, comic strip to kind of illustrate just how uh, arbitrary and like arbitrary just means that it's something it doesn't even make sense right it's just like some random thing that someone came up with and so that's kind of what the the system that we currently use is like uh it make more sense to use a metric system which is what we do in science but uh, most of the us in general does not use a metric system and so here in this uh, comic this the uh, player says okay here's the plate go out 10 meters and cut left five meters and then the person's like meters and says jason this is football everything in football is measured in yards and so he's like, look, in order for me to get the ball to you at the right place at the right time, I'm going to need to do a whole bunch of trajectory and motion calculations in my head. Trust me, it's a lot easier just using the metric system. He's like, I'm telling you, you can't play football with meters. It's weird. And so this right here, especially this part, just tells you how random uh, the, the English system, which we use now, is. Fine, go out 10.936133 yards and cut left 5.4680665 yards. Uh, tell you what, let's stick with meters. Right, so again, it's just kind of showing you that it is uh, just some random measurement, like unit of measurement that, that we currently use, whereas meters or the metric system makes more sense. And you'll see why in a little bit. So these were those countries I was telling you about that pretty much everyone in the world uses the metric system, except for USA, Liberia, and Myanmar, right? We're pretty much the only ones stuck in the past. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense again, and you'll see uh, why right now. So here you go. This is the way uh, the U.S. measures things. Uh, inches to a foot, feet to a yard, yards to a mile, ounces to a pound. It's just random. Like It's so random the way uh, we measure things. And then Fahrenheit is also very random. That's one of the things I like about uh, the metric system is that uh, Celsius is very organized. And even the way we do our month, day, and year, right, it makes a big difference. And you see on the left, it's just really unbalanced uh, when it comes to the U.S. But then in the rest of the world, you'll see when you go from millimeters to a meter, meters to kilometer, grams to kilograms, kilograms to a ton, it's evenly uh, converted, right? It goes by units of 10, and we're going to see that when we do conversions in a little bit. And then Celsius, very cool the way it measures uh, temperature. Everything below zero is frozen, right? Water freezes below zero, water boils above 100. And so that makes sense in science. And then the way they break up the, their dates, day, month, year, that's the way the rest of the world does it. And, um, you know, sometimes when people from the U.S. see that, they're like, oh, you, you did this the wrong way. But just remember uh, to be open-minded and realize that not everyone uh, measures everything the same way. And so this is a really cool thing about the metric system. It's based off of factors of 10. The conversions between units are the same, so that makes converting pretty easy. And then uh, using Greek prefixes uh, makes it uniform throughout. And then it's easier to use in the US system when it comes to converting. And so you'll be thankful in a little bit when we do conversions from the metric system, because it makes a lot more sense to use the metric system than the, the English system that we use here in the US. All right, and so here we have the metric conversion chart. And so right here, you're gonna see that we're gonna start off with a kilo, then go down to hecto, deca, the basic unit, deci, centi, and milli. All right, so what you gotta notice just by looking at this is that the numbers go down, right? You start here at a thousand, and then it goes down to 100 units, 10 units. It's basically just like one unit, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. All right, so basically what it's saying, and whenever you're talking about um, the basic units, these are things like meters. I remember meters measure length. So remember with like length, with any of these, so let me see length, then you have, um, let's do liters. So for liters, that is measuring volume. Or volume is anything that takes up space and usually what you measure with liters is liquid right think of about a two liter of coke or pepsi that is uh, it's liquid right and it's measured in uh volume something else though remember when you see this a lot of people get this confused but when you see centimeters cubed and this is supposed to be a small three up on top of that that m this one is also volume Right. And you actually hear this, like if you ever watch hospital shows or doctor shows and they're like, nurse, I need five cc's of morphine stat. Those cc's stand for this centimeters cubed. Whenever you have a, a two on there, it's squared. But whenever you have the three up there, it's called cubed. Right. So this is centimeters cubed. And all it basically means is length times width times height, which means it is like a 3D shape. Right. It's not flat. It's 3D shape, which means it takes up space or volume. 
So remember, when you see that centimeters cubed, it's gonna trick you because you're gonna see the M and think length, but no, centimeters cubed means volume. Right, so we have uh, length, volume, and if you're dealing uh, with weight or uh, like kind of weighing something out, that would be uh, grams and that measures mass. Right, and then also let's consider to uh, seconds measure time. Right, so you have again, uh, meters for length, L for volume, centimeters cubed is also volume, uh, G is for mass and S is for time, right? And then just remember with all these kilo, hecto, deca, basic, or not the basic, deci, centi, and milli, you just add one of these letters to it. So like if it's a kilometer, you just put a K there, right? If it's a milliliter, you would just put an M here. And then you just switch it up uh, for whatever unit you need to use. Right, and then also we're gonna see right now that when you go from uh, one unit to another, when you're converting, if you're going to a smaller unit, so let's say you're going from a kilo to uh, a deca, right? So kilogram to decagram, you're just gonna move uh, the decimal point to the right, however many times you move. And whenever you go to a larger unit, you're just gonna move that to the left. 